everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing a November TBR. If you've been here long enough then that should sing some warning signs, some flashing because I don't do TBRs. But this TBR was inspired by something that was cancelled. <laughs> wink wink. <laughs> not shy enough about this um and i will link that above because some of these books i really wanted to read and i really wanted to do the thing that was canceled <laughs> huh. right i'm doing great sorry the petty is strong i still want to be petty but i'm trying to be a bigger person why is my phone making noises um, but I'm trying to be the bigger person here. Really trying hard. Um, so I thought about making two TBRs. I still don't know how I feel because I've got that TBR and then I've also got a TBR for non-fiction November. Of course, I may, I, cause I don't even know if I'm participating in that this year. I don't really read that much non-fiction, if at all. So, uh. But this November TBR, we'll start with that and then by the end of this video, I will decide. Um, so, starting from the top. Um, brown, let me find it. Brown skin girls, best thing in the world. This is not really starting from the top. Um, okay, so I have, starting from the kind of top, first book I want to, well, not necessarily the first book I want to read, but it's on my list for the month of November, is With the Fire on High um, by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I've heard good and bad reviews on it. This one was picked because it, um, potentially had some problematic aspects to it and so I wanted to read it to get my own view of it to see if I found the same stuff. So with the fire on high Elizabeth Acevedo is on my list for that reason. Pew. Next up I have Stalking Jack the Ripper. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manscalco. Manscalco, Carrie Man Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manscalco. Um, this book was chosen as a book um, of a genre I don't normally read because I don't read the classics and so this was a book I don't normally read and um because I kind of put it in like the thriller suspense I don't know if it's really in that category I put it in that category but um the thriller suspense kind of category i don't read that many books like that um if i had to pick another one on the, like if you don't read the classics challenge um i would probably choose one of the lady janey's books um my plain jane because i haven't read but i haven't read pride and prejudice so it's hard for me to want to read that i mean i have read Wuthering Heights though so <laughs> thank you higher education for making me read that so there's that <laughs> um but yeah so Stalking Jack the Ripper is what I would have chosen for uh, if you don't read the classics then you're not a real reader next up um for audiobooks don't count as reading tell you because these books I already had picked out so I'm gonna read them audiobooks that don't count as reading um I picked Raven by Cami Garcia it is a manga um that I just like never read or a graphic novel sorry it's a graphic novel um and I just I don't really read them but I do sometimes watch Teen Titans Go <laughs> Um, so I am excited to pick this one up as well. Hopefully it'll be kind of quick. I'm hoping. Um, so <sighs> Raven by Cami Garcia. La 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 la. Why did that close on me? <sighs> um, 
for the next one that I picked for these challenges. Oh, ooh, I skipped one. I skipped one because I don't have the physical book. Um, I decided to read four shady subtweets. For Shady Subtweets, I was going to read Percy Jackson, the Percy Jackson series, or the first one, which I think is The Lightning Thief, uh, by Rick Gordon, because I put that one on Twitter of, like, a book y'all love, but y'all hated this movie, y'all. Like, y'all really hated this movie. And see, I've seen the movie, I enjoyed the movie, but I hadn't read the book. So, ah. Uh. But y'all, y'all were like, this shit was trash, throw it in a dumpster fire for the movie. We don't burn books. Um but yeah <laughs> so gonna read that for shady subtweets y'all are funny um which also was counting as my book social media picks for you of of how do you how could you even read that that was also counting for that um oh the I can't relate so three stars category I was going to read God of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Morena Garcia um, because some of y'all are Sylvia Morena Garcia stands um, which I do love um, but I probably could have picked something else but I probably also if I was going to pick a black author I was going to pick Slay by Brittany Morris. I always want to say Morrison. It's my sister's last name. Um, but Brittany Morris, I probably would have picked Slay by Brittany Morris if I was going to pick a black author. But I also had Elizabeth Acevedo on here. So I already have a lot of marginalized creators. And so, but this one sounds really good, like really, really good. And I really want to read it. So I, I'm excited to read it and get pumped. Get pumped. I'm excited to read this one. Um, so that were some of the books that I picked for the thing that got canceled, which I will also link down below so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so another one that I would like to read this month, y'all, I've got a lot of books that I would like to read during the month of November, and so this is why I don't make TBRs, because all because the likelihood of me getting to all of them is so slim, unless I put them on audiobook. I might put Gilded Wolves on audiobook. Maybe. But it's Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chashki. Um, I've got two copies of this, which makes me really not want to buy another one, even on audiobook. But I do have Audible credits that I need to use. So maybe. Maybe. Um, but Gilded Wolves... I have started read the first 20 pages. I just finished Serpent and Dub, so I feel like this might keep me in that same like realm of I don't know, maybe just because they speak French. Probably not. But, but I'm excited to keep reading it. Y'all, don't talk to me. I don't know why y'all why y'all even come here. <laughs> um, and then the last one that I have for my November TBR is the Everlasting Rose by Donald Clayton. It has just been on my list for a while. I loved the bells. I have not read the Everlasting Rose yet because it got some mediocre reviews. Not like the reviewers were mediocre, just like the book was mediocre. Um, you know, like it might have hit that like second book slump, even though the ending of the first one was so good. And so it's like got you excited for the second one. But because of that, like it just hasn't been shoved in my face nearly as much as the bells was. But I really would like to read it but there's a lot of other books that might happen before that so but I just wanted to mention it um but I've got some more time in this video so let's go ahead and talk about nonfiction November um let's talk about nonfiction November so for my nonfic November TV this will be my first time participating in nonfiction November because I don't really read nonfiction I don't I don't really read it because I don't really always enjoy it. It is hard for me to enjoy nonfiction. The person who is giving it to me better be interesting. Like, better be interesting. Um, so, unfortunately, when I 
peeked over the reviews for all of these books. None of these books got any good reviews. So that makes me really sad <laughs> and really discouraged. But this first one was a book that was recommended to me for me to read for nonfic November. Um, but that is Over the Top, A Raw Journey to Self-Love by Jonathan Van Ness. Um, if you are on the world, if you're in the world, then you've heard of Queer Eye and I love Queer Eye. And Jonathan Van Ness is awesome. I love his personality on there. And they just do such a fantastic job just uplifting people. And they also do just so much work out in the community. And so I hope that that translates through to the book. I also like their podcast. Um, I don't listen to it all the time, but I have enjoyed their podcast in the past. Um, so I want to read that one. The next book that I want to read for non-fic, non-fic non November is The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish. That's been on my list for so long, y'all. Just like so long. And I just, I need to read it. I think Tiffany Haddish is hilarious. And then her story is like just truly rags to riches. And she is just, she's becoming a beast. Becoming an absolute beast. Um, the next one is The Subtle Art of Not Given a Bloop. Um, by Mark Manson, you know, you just see it everywhere. It's like a self-help, but like the reviews of it are just terrible. Like, and it sounds like the book might be arrogant, which is kind of how I felt about Girl, Wash Your Face. That's how I felt. That's why I did it after that. Um, because it starts off strong. And you're like, yeah, yeah, get out there. And then you're like, okay, stop like preaching to me. Like provide a list, like a to do, like a. Right now you're just preaching to me and tell me about your life. Like, I don't care about that. Don't. Um, so yeah, whatever. The next one is The Body Is Not An Apology by Sonia Renee Taylor. This one I have started. I was listening to it on Audible and, um, or yeah, I was listening to it on Audible and I have it on my Kindle. Um, and it's, it's good. It's a book on radical self-love and you can definitely feel the radical nature behind it and for me that's a little intense sometimes that's why I haven't finished it yet but you know as a big girl myself like I I have needed to hear some things that come through there um you know or just hearing over and over again that the body is not an apology because I am fat and I feel gross about it all the time so yeah anyway next up is big magic creating creating a living beyond fear by elizabeth gilbert um this one also got trash reviews but it's on my kindle already and it's been there for years now um so has wild i guess i could read that too I, apparently in one year i was just in like a road to self-discovery probably feeling lost as always probably right after college feeling lost and alone and scared and down and so i downloaded all these books that um to help me try and pull out of it didn't read them though so they're on my kindle might read them now um but that's my last one for non-fic november and we'll see how it goes um i'm excited to read them it'll be something a little different for me and yeah so that's it y'all november tbrs are done november tbrs are done sorry i don't know what's up with my outfit today it's okay though i'm comfy that's what matters um but that yep that's my non-fic november if you've made it this far into this video thank you so much i have a question for you what are your thoughts on a patreon for me um because there are just there are a lot of videos i want to do in the future like i have them literally written and planned out that i don't do for a lot of my videos planned out and all that kind of stuff that i want to do but it's going to take time not only time but a lot of effort a lot of communication with a lot of people and so it would be great if people would come and it'd be great if somebody wanted to give me like five dollars a month to help of course i would still offer free content because i feel like you still need free content on your channel but some of the things i 
would like a little help with, especially because just here I just don't get the the huge amount of view time for YouTube. I get good view time and I get consistent people on my channel and I love that. Um, and I love you guys for being a part of that. Um, so just tell me what you guys think about Patreon or what you think about your booktubers having Patreon because I'm genuinely curious. You're not going to hurt my feelings either way. Um, I just want to know. So please let me know um, down in the comments down below. I am curious. Anyway, um, that's it for me, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification down below. Hit follow me on all the social medias. Um, and I believe that's it. So until next time, keep turning the pages.